Red Sox The Blue Jays had an Inside the Park Grand Slam and many, many more highlights. Ray Multipia slides home safely for an Inside the Park Grand Slam. Brian Fluert D slash Giddy Magus commentary It was the kind of play you might see in a Little League game, or perhaps a Rick softball game, but one you'd never, ever expect to see in a Major League game. A play so shocking and stupefying that you wouldn't believe a friend at a bar if they told you what happened. You'd need to watch the video several times to make sure you saw it correctly. With two outs in the third inning Friday, and the bases juiced. Blue Jays center fielder Ray Multipia swung at an Austin Davis slider and lofted it to center field. Tapia slumped his shoulders and dejectedly drooped toward the ground, convinced he had flown out. He started running, just in case, and suddenly he realized Red Sox center fielder Jaron Duran had absolutely no clue where the ball was. None, whatsoever. Duran stood on the grass with his palms facing skyward, dazed and confused as the ball soared over his head and landed 30 feet behind him on the warning track. Once he saw it, he stood totally frozen and barely moved. It's the most helpless feeling you could ever feel, Duran said. Until you guys catch a fly ball in twilight, let me know. The leadoff hitter to Pia now fully aware of what was unfolding, started sprinting. He lost his helmet near second base, rounded third on a mission, and belly flopped onto home plate for an inside the park grand slam to highlight an appalling 28-5 Blue Jays beat down at Fenway Park. It was the lowest low light for the Red Sox in a night that featured plenty. The 28 runs is a franchise record, not the good kind, and one that stood 99 years, as they looked lost and out of sorts the entire way. Duran's miscue loomed large. This was just the third inside the park grand slam this millennium and the second time a Blue Jay has ever hit one. The other was Junior Felix, in 1989, also at Fenway Park. Afterward, Duran blamed the twilight, and manager Alex Cora said he doesn't believe Duran ever saw it. Duran said he didn't chase after the ball because Alex Verdugo was already going after it. I mean, Dougie was right there already, Duran said.